Hello everyone and welcome back to Herzog and welcome to the very final battleground Remergy capital of Ruth. It's on. The final battle, which to be honest probably isn't going to be all that much harder than the previous battles we fought. But we'll see about that. Let's just wait until the game loads. Yeah, this game always shows the land armor's eye on the left hand side during the loading screen, which I don't know if that's intentional. But anyway, let's get some grand slams up and running because, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try to do this the fair way because there's literally no way to uh, why I should do that. So now we're out of money, but we've got a lot of grand slams on the way. And I think I'm just going to defend for the rest of the mission. I don't think they're going to have enough stuff to, uh, to bring on all these guys here. So I don't really want to move too far out because I don't want to lose my land armor. Because obviously that's going to cost me even more money and I, I do gain money at a fair, fair rate here but it's still going to take a while until I can afford yet another one. And they do, yeah they do cost, wait, they cost, they cost 3000? I could have sworn those were, wait, do, did the units get more expensive over time? Oh they definitely did! I paid zero attention to that. Yeah, these used to cost 500 and these cost, did cost 1000 and then 2000. And these cost, these used to cost one, 150. Oh, why, why did I even bring you up? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that. I feel stupid now. So what do they have here? Oh, hello. Car, oh, I guess, I guess you're dead now. So yeah, we're just going to defend here. Something tells me that the computer is not paying more for for his stuff but that's just my just my just making assumptions here so let's oh hello there yeah pathfinding isn't the best in this game which to honest isn't terribly surprising is it and as usual let's let's avoid a confrontation with the enemy land armor because okay maybe we can't because i think that guy is going to chase us down Okay, let's oh, actually get airborne here, which at least means that let's get a couple of these guys here up and running. I can definitely afford those, and I can almost afford another land armor, so it's not so actually that bad. If you don't actually use that many units, it's not that bad. So let's just fix myself. And I don't think they're going to intercept all my grand slams because that's a lot of them. And just a couple more seconds, and we're fully repaired. Yeah, I really want to do some land armor preservation here, and I think I need to intercept you. Yeah, I definitely do. Because you guys, yeah, you guys approach a little faster than I thought you would, but that's okay. Hello, boom. You can't complain about these guys' morale. They are, they will, they keep marching on no matter what happens. In fact, that's that's kind of their only, their only mode of operation. Maybe they're all robotic though, because we've got this this land armor here. Then again, we don't know whether it's a, a robot. It's, it's probably piloted. So, oh, and let's eliminate you. Oh. Yeah, let's eliminate all of you. And, yeah, at least there's a nice bottleneck here, but, oh, damn. I need some emergency repairs right now. Yeah, of course I need them right now. If I didn't need them right now, there wouldn't be emergency repairs, would they? So, let's get a couple of these guys up and running. I think five should do. And, I, oh, actually... I, I, do I gain money faster as well? To once, I don't know, but it almost seems like it. In any case, let's start flying, so at least the ground units can't hit me. Yeah, and with five guys, you actually recover reasonably fast. In half a minute or so, we should be good. And I think our we've done about one quarter of the way with our grand slams. Do those move faster? Maybe the game is just moving faster because I don't have that much stuff on. Okay, just a couple more clicks and we're good. There we go. I think I murdered one of my own guys, but this is just something that happens. Yeah, but I said it before, if if the way I handle RTS games would be the way any real commander would... Oh hey there, that is actually a lot of tanks. Would handle actual actual units, then you I pretty would have pretty much would have been court martialed straight away, so and who, whom did I overlook there? Oh, it's just infantry. Running on these red streets here. Yeah, you can tell it's the capital of Ruth because everything is red. And there's a lot of, a lot of gasometers in this, this town here. So let's just collect you guys. Uh, this town, you'd think, this looks really unsafe to fight in. Then again, 
I guess those are from the future, so they don't really explode. Well, yeah, this game does a, it does a, it doesn't really do much world building, but it does much more world building than I would have expected it to do. Even on the land map, you even have other some other countries, and they say that there's that the war, war apparently uh, apparently evolved into a world war. And yeah, let's let's regenerate a little bit. May, may as well while I have these guys here, because why not? Yeah, and looks like yeah, I think the Grand Slam missiles are actually they are flying faster, or at least they seem to. Oh, yeah, another one of you. At least they seem to fly faster because well, there's less slowdown, which I guess is worth something too. So uh, there's these guys are coming with faster than I expected. So yeah, it could just be a, a game speed thing, and I think I'm going to need more repairs rather soon. But that's okay. So let's blow all of you up. Yeah, this is one of those games where the the character you control doesn't. Oh, oh, oh there's a turret here. I didn't even see that. There's just too much red here. It doesn't always stay in. In this, in the center of the screen, which can be annoying. So, and we have oh, we've oh, we've got we've got decent amount of, of cash here. That's very decent. We can almost afford three more land armor, which is good because we might need them, or maybe not. I think I'm going to build. Did I really release twelve grand slams? Man, that's I'm insane. So, let's just recover here, and yeah, we're almost halfway there. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. I think it takes about 50 minutes until the the Grand Slams reach the enemy base, and then then we're essentially good. So okay, let's release these guys here. Okay, didn't kill any of them this time. This, that's good. There's another tank and more infantry. I feel so at home when basic infantry drops out of tanks. It's just so you, you know you know things. Are all right when that happens there's a huge wave of stuff coming here which we will intercept yeah this seems to be the safest strategy you lose least land armor you essentially gain money over time and you and it seems like the the enemy isn't able to intercept these these missiles and stuff in time at least from what I've seen maybe in this mission they have got a like a safeguard mechanism that they automatically intercept them or something like that. But I don't think they do. So I'm not too concerned here. Let's just just advance a little bit further because we may as well. There's a lot of obstacles here. The vehicles are having some like mild trouble. And there's a lot of infantry coming out of these guys too. And I think I need I want to pick up my guys rather soon. Okay, let's do it now before we run into the enemy land armor. And we we're halfway done, so that's actually pretty good, and we we pretty much cleaned our half of the map, which is nice too. Hey guys, how you've been doing? How have you been doing during the last time? So, doing that was a very bad sentence. So anyway, and that that was a bad sentence was also a bad way to word that. But anyway, yeah, they've got the glowing sidewalks or whatever that is. Yeah. Then again, that's probably not the pavement. The pavement is probably this, this weird white thing here. I have no idea, and I don't know, really know why I contemplate about this, but I do. But anyway, so let's just release you guys. I'm not quite sure how you release all of them at the same time without starting to fire and then killing them accidentally. It doesn't really seem to be that trivial. Occasionally it works, occasionally it doesn't. And no, oh, it's just a missile. That's, that's actually okay. We can intercept these guys. It also indicates where those guys actually are. Of course, this. Oh, it's got turrets here. Oh, damn. Let's still watch out here. But I want to kill this guy. Oh. Okay. Let's get out of here. That was that was bad. Stay too long. These guys are stuck again. On Yeah, they're, they're stuck again there. So, but it doesn't really matter. And did I... Yeah, did I lose one guy? I think I did lose one guy. Doesn't really matter. These guys should allow me to recover fast enough. And we are more than halfway done. And there's a big wave coming, but it's not that bad. They don't really seem to accelerate. They just spit out units in the beginning, and it doesn't really get any harder, which is almost a um, RTS staple for a lot of a lot of games. That if you if you have your defense up and you can survive the first couple of waves, then you're essentially good. Because well, some games have mechanisms in place that make it a little bit harder afterwards. For example, if the enemy has a super weapon naturally, which you have to intercept, 
anyone who has played Command Conquer Generals knows that. And if you run low on resource and don't have a like, permanent resource option in any way, shape or form, that's, that's a thing that can happen. Or you just have a, a basic time limit, because everybody loves time missions. I, I'm kind of mixed with time missions. The time always, I always find these timers very anxiety inducing, but at the same time you also want the challenge. You don't want it to be too easy. Okay, third you're going to die today, so. Let's just intercept you, and... Yeah, just there's a couple more guys. There's a, there's a big, a big blob straight ahead. But yeah, and can be no can cannot shoot through here, but that's okay. Oh, oh, holy hell, that's a lot of turrets. They're really securing their positions here, but that's okay. I don't really, I'm not really too interested in getting into there. Oh, that was bad. That was that was bad. Lost the land armor here, but that's okay because we can just buy another. We can actually buy se buy several. Bite several, yeah. Oh, are you going to come for me now? Okay. You know what? Oh, that's actually okay with me. Let's just collect these guys here, and let's just hope they don't come. That he, he doesn't just rush me for the for the remainder of the mission because that would be. Oh, he might actually do that. I don't like that. So. Yeah, I think he, he might actually do that. That is that is a that is mean because you know that the AI can always afford more land armor than I can. So let's just get a bunch more of these guys so we recover faster before because that guy is going to arrive fast. So let's let's try to recover in the meantime. Oh he's not going to come forth this time. That's good. I thought the AI would just rush me for the rest of the mission. That would have been problematic because the AI can afford more of this equipment than I can. Yeah, the, the AI ultimately does cheat. Uh, at the beginning I said it wouldn't cheat. It doesn't cheat all that much, actually. So it's still, it's still kind of nice to see that the game plays mostly fair. They could have made this a lot more unfair, but it seems... I guess the AI just has a, like, a, like a scripted amount of units it just throws at me. Yeah, that, that's, how, that's how it worked in, in Warcraft 1, where the AI doesn't, doesn't actually have an economy. It does have workers, and I think it needs workers to get you guys loaded up. I think it does need workers to rebuild its HQ or so, but apart from that, or at least... Oh yeah, sorry, I killed you. Or at least it needs, I think, some lumber. But... Apart from that, the AI essentially just spawns units next to its production facilities every now and then. As a result, it's always good in Warcraft 1 to clear out the, the guarding units on the map first, because those will never be replaced. So, let's kill you. Oh, took a hit there, but that's okay. Grand Slam launched. Uh, that's actually not that bad, because I, la I, I launched Grand Slams like half an hour ago. And they're not on, on its way to my base that are too close, because otherwise I could already see them on the radar, because mine are way into their half of the map, so... Oh, and the, <laughs> these guys can of course shoot the obstacles, so... So that's not actually that bad. So let's pick up my infantry again. Yeah, so the AI does actually use Grand Slams, but that's that's okay. It's okay at this point. But if you've tried to fight this, fight this the, the really fair way, then this would be a lot more difficult, actually. actually let's summon more of you and just for the faster recovery rate yeah we were definitely good we're probably going to i think we are more than three quarters there that's essentially what i want okay let's release you and you so there we go all of our little soldiers are on their way and yep you died straight away but that's that's the fate of infantry in an RTS game, would be a real RTS game if it wasn't that way. Then again, this game is not, it's not what people would necessarily expect from an RTS game. In fact, this game is, considering how old it is, this game is more Dota than one might think. Then again, I haven't really played my, have I ever played Dota? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I generally know what Dota is. So let's, well, Oh, I think it, oh, I think two grand slams. Yeah, two grand slams met one another, but that's okay. That's the reason why I fired like twelve of them. So, oh, and these, I want a couple of these out of the way. And then let's collect my soldiers again. Yeah, the the I likes to cluster these these now, but I'm okay with that. 
Let's just pick you up and you can fix myself. Yeah, then, then it's good. It's good to know that all of these guys here are actually like trained engineers for tanks. I'm not quite sure what kind of engineer you need to be to like work on tanks. I guess the vehicle engineer. Is there a special engineer for like? I guess it's probably several because just if you work on the weapons, that's probably not the same as working on the actual vehicle. So yeah. So let's release you. Well, at least one guy, and then he turned into several guys. Yeah, this this time we need three like three waves to release these guys, and my base still isn't damaged at all, which is kind of amazing. And I lost only one land armor, if I remember correctly. Quite satisfied with that. Actually, I think I profit from the map layout here because these these units often get delayed by just having to go through these bottlenecks. Hello. So to probably actually put effort into killing these guys. Oh more of where that came from oh, infantry these on these red pavements these guys are almost invisible okay let's just quickly kill these guys here and then oh no nope, that was a mistake oh dear so I'm, I'm going to go into recovery mode so could you please just leave me alone okay pick these guys up here and then might just fly around a little bit oh well I guess we don't have to because we just blew up their base The Ruse Liberation Army was destroyed, Roger's ambitions were broken, and the world once again returned to peace. As for Ruth, which had caused chaos, five years later an independence treaty was signed. The war between Merce and Ruse comes to an end here with eternal peace. And that, my friends, was Herzog. The original Herzog, predecessor to Herzog 2, which I'm also going to play at one point. But we'll see when I do that. This game is, to be honest, for what it tries to achieve at the time, it's actually pretty decent. It's still very much playable today. There are a lot of games which were just completely surpassed by whatever came after them. But this one here is still okay. It's not the greatest game by any means, but it's kind of nice that it has split screen co uh, not split screen co op, it actually has split screen versus mode which I did call hot seat at one point which is not hot seat hot seat is where you would actually switch seats but yeah that's not really important I guess anyway I hope you enjoyed this let's play which I think was my first LP of an MSX game so yeah thanks for watching and I shall see you then take care and goodbye